Hello friends, my name is Miss Emily and today we're going to be doing a demonstration of how to do our foam CD fish craft that you got from the library. I'll go ahead and take off my mask because I am not around any of my coworkers. It's a, probably easier to hear me with hear me without the mask on. What supplies you are going to get from the library for your foam fishes are two CDs. We're going to be using the iridescent or shiny side. Some foam that you can cut your fins and your fish's lips and tail out of. Yours are going to be square. I'm using a old piece of foam so it uh, is in an odd shape. Two googly eyes. I only have one here because my other one is on my fish already right there. And then a whole bunch of fun pretty sequins or jewels or little stars to put on your fish. So that's an example of the ones I have here. You can use anything that you want that you find around your house that can be stuck to things with glue. Speaking of glue, the things that you will need from your house that the library is not providing in the kit is some glue. I just picked tacky glue because that was the first thing that was in the cupboard. But you can use Elmer's glue. You could probably use a glue stick, although it might not work as well on the CDs, but you're, you can try it. And then scissors. Also, if you would like to hang your fish from your ceiling or from a window, you will need a piece of twine or string to do that. I am not gonna hang my fish, so I do not have that. Something else that you might find helpful is a writing utensil. So either a pen or a pencil to trace your fish parts off on your foam. So I have already made one top fin that's going to go like this a bottom fin that'll go down like that, and then my fish's lips, like a kiss kiss fish. And I made my two fins different so you could see what kind of shapes you can make. And you can make them any shape you want. One I had kind of like a shark's fin or a traditional fish's fin. And the other one I just kind of had a funny little shape that I liked with these little bumps right here that I kind of looked, thought looked like little, little fish bumps. So the last thing that I need is a tail. So I'm gonna draw and cut out a tail and then I will see you in a minute. Okay, I have now cut out my fin, my tail fin. And the next thing we're going to do is glue on all of our pretty scales or jewels or whatever um, you would like to call them. So you'll take your shiny side of your CD, not the side with stuff on it, your shiny side and you will put some drops of glue kind of around where you think you'd like to place your scales. I have seen people do a lot of scales and if you have a lot of stuff that you'd like to put on, you can even layer yours. Like on this one, I kind of put some ones on top right there and right there. Um, you could cover the whole thing if you wanted to do that. If I had more time, I would probably do that too because I like the way that that looks all on top of each other like that. And if you, of course, if you had enough things. So just put a couple of glue dots around your fish's body and then stick your scales on. kind of like that. And there's, you should have some tiny little itty bitty stars, which I thought were very fun. And those you could put kind of a bunch of glue down. Let's try that. Put a lot of glue in one spot and stick a whole bunch to that. 
So I'm going to take my finger and kind of spread my glue out a little bit. You gotta do it quick so that your glue doesn't dry while you are getting all of your little stars. Oh, I think we are going good there for a minute, but I think my glue's starting to dry out a little bit. I better hurry up and find the rest of them. And don't worry if you are using tacky glue like I am, it can kind of seem, especially when I've got it on my fingers, that some of it is getting on the stars or on your other scales. And maybe it looks a little bit dirty or not nice, but that I have learned with my other one will come off as soon as it kind of dries. Oh, um, yep, now my glue dried. But I got a pretty good amount on there. Let's put a couple more things at the top here. You know, what we should do first is put the eye on so that we don't cover up the place where your eye, your fish's eye is gonna be. So here's my, uh, the first eye that I did. And you want to make sure that it lines up because these two CDs are going to go back to back. At the very end, we're gonna glue them like that. And that's gonna be your fish's body. So here's my eye right here. And I wanna make sure that my eye goes on the same place on the other one. But I'm gonna turn it, turn my other CD. So now there is a blank space where my eye can go. And we got the adhesive googly eyes or wiggly eyes, so you don't have to put any glue on it. You just have to take the very little piece of paper off of the back yourself, which can be challenging sometimes. So ask a grown up in your house for help if you need to, or you can just keep working at it. So you pull it off and then you'll put it on where it matches the other eye. And you can just hold it for a second there. And if you didn't get it quite right, cause look, I didn't even, I didn't get it quite, quite right. One is higher than the other. You can just move it so it matches. There you go. So now they're matching. So I can continue then putting on my scales or my fish scales where my googly eye or where the fish's eye is not. So I'll do a couple more dollops here. Put on some more. And I would be very happy to see how you all decorated your fish. So if you want to share your pictures or if your grown-ups want to share pictures of your fish to the library website, you can, or you can e email them to me. I would love to see them. I was gonna stop there, but I think it looks so good. I'm gonna put some more on. If I was making the fish that I would, my ideal fish, I would choose all of the blue jewels and all of the blue stars and all of the blue, any little things I could find because blue is my favorite color and I would make it all blue. And I think that would be kind of cool. However, I do really like the way that this looks. All right, next we're going to put our fins on. And we wanna do this before we glue our CDs together. So for this, we're going to use the non iridescent or the not shiny end. And we're gonna glue our fins onto the not shiny part. So this is my tail fin. You have to find where your eye is and then you wanna do it to the opposite side. And for this, I'm gonna actually put my glue on the foam piece instead of the CD. Just a little line where I'm gonna be sticking it. Again, I'll use my finger a little bit to spread it out. And quick, before it dries, you wanna stick it on. Oh, 
and then hold it for a minute. That looks neat, right? Kind of like a fish. I'm not the best shape cutter. So I was pretty, I was pretty happy with that. And you have received two different colors um, of foam. So if you want to make all of your fins different colors, I think that that would look beautiful. Of course, if you only want to use one, that is fine too. I only had the one piece of leftover foam, so that's why mine are all purple. And I also didn't get to pick the color, which you didn't either, but hopefully one of those colors in there you like. I do like purple a lot, but I would have preferred blue. Would that have looked a little weird though with all of my fins being blue and then my, um, uh, or all my scales being blue and then my fins being blue too? That might have looked a little weird, but I think I still would have liked it. And that's what's important, it's my foam fish after all. All right, so now we're gonna do the top, top fin like that. So again, we'll put some glue on our foam piece. And we'll stick it on there. You can have it upside down so you can kind of see how it looks. Very nice. I like it. Okay, I'm gonna hold my fin and tail for a minute, 30 seconds, a minute so that they make sure to stay on. And then I'm gonna glue on my mouth and my other bottom fin. All right. One thing you wanna remember is that normally our mouths go below our eyes. So you wanna make sure to glue the mouth on below your fish's eye. If you want, if you don't want, you can glue it on your fish's head for all I care. Um, you should make your fish look however you want but I wanted a somewhat realistic fish looking, so I glue, glued mine down below the eyes right there. So this is what the back of your fish will look like, and then the front of your fish. And I did add, I finished up my little pile of jewels and sequins and just put a bunch on top there so you can kind of see. And if you wanted to make your whole fish just completely covered. That would be beautiful, I think. All right, so now we're going to put our fish together. So you gotta very carefully lay it down on the side where all the scales are, all your beautiful uh, jewels and sequins, and put a bunch of glue all along the outer edge of your foam and the CD, just wherever you think your CDs are gonna touch together, you wanna put some glue. Again, I'll use my finger to gently spread the glue all around and I don't think you have to get it everywhere you definitely don't have to get it everywhere you just want to get it a good amount where the CDs are going to be touching all right and again you gotta quick do it before it dries and don't forget to line up your eyes if that's the way you want your fish to look so and I'll check on the back side oh my eyes are not quite lined up There we go. And I will hold it down. Oh, I think my bottom fin moved a little bit. That's okay. The glue wasn't completely dry, so I can just pull it out. Yeah, it got sucked in a little bit there. All right. So now <laughs> we just hold, find a place where there's no sequence to pull off and we'll just hold our fish together until it dries. Look at that. Beautiful. I wonder what my fish's name should be. Oh, my mouth fell out a little bit too. Just pull it out. I like like 
Gertrude. For Betty. That's a good name for a fish. What would your fish's name be? Make sure to include that with your pictures if you want. Could be shiny. That's also a good name for a sea creature, right? And if you wanted to hang it, you would just get a length of string. And as long as you want it, if you're hanging it from your ceiling, it might be kind of long. Uh, maybe not if you wanted it up high. And then you just double it and put it through this hole and tie it. And then it will hang like this. And that is in the directions that will come with your kit. So if you're grown up, you want to do that. You and your grown up will have instructions on how to get that done. All right. Well, look at that. Okay, friends, thank you so much for joining me today. And now I'm going to go back into the bigger part of the library and clean up my supplies. So I'm going to put my mask back on because I will be around all of my coworkers and friends. So if you happen to come into the library, this is how you'll see us all. Goodbye. Thanks for joining us.